I think that all of us can say that we've had some really, really trying times lately. But for a lot of us, that time is coming to a close. Some are saying hello. Some are saying goodbye. Some contracts are starting and some are ending. Forging new friendships and partnerships along the way. I regret nothing. In fact, I'm forever thankful for all of those people along the way. For the smiles, for the encouragement. Even for the people who were complete hell for me. It's because of you that I learned to let go of the things that were hurting me that were dragging my spirit down. It opened my heart up to being willing to accept love, to be willing to try something different, to move forward and get out of that deadlock of being stuck with people, places, and things that didn't value me at all. And with each walk away, you bet your ass I cried. I did, all along the way, but it was worth it. Blood, sweat, and tears, years and years going into making things, only to watch it just fall away. It hurt. Sometimes I was angry. Other times I felt so sad. But then I started to realize as I let other things go, I made room for good things in my life. A total transformation occurred in my life by letting these hurtful things go. With each thing that I walked away from, step by step, I started to heal. I started to feel lighter. I started to feel more alive. In the beginning stages, I would look back to the past and wonder, why me? Why me? Why are there so many towers? Because I was the queen of holding on. I was dedicated. I was going to make things happen. But I've learned that once I let those things go, it slowly fades from my mind. Obviously, it's still there, but it doesn't hurt. I see myself in those people that were so wretched, holding on for dear life. Some people let greed get the the best of them. Or their home situation get the best of them, and they take it out on other people. They hurt just like we do. The difference is, are you willing to change it? You have to be willing to change it. You can't change the other person if they don't want to grow, if they don't want to get better, if they continue to cling. You can't stop that. But you can choose to untie yourself. To give yourself a chance.
They don't deserve the pain and agony, and neither do you. But that's the thing. You have to believe that you don't deserve to live like that. You have to believe that there's something on the other side of that fear. Something bigger than you. And I'm telling you, from the other side there is. Everything's not going to be perfect on the other side. But it won't be the same situation. And if it is, now you're strong enough to let go. Not stuck, tangled in a web of guilt, shame, greed. Free. Free to be yourself. The exact same things that people made fun of you for or treated you horribly for are the keys to your wealth, to your abundance, to your future. But you've gotten so used to being beaten down for them that you see them as something to hide. You can choose to walk away from that. You can choose to be authentic, to be yourself, to be as weird as you want to be and attract other people that are just as weird as you. Yes, it hurts to let go, but it hurts even more to hold on to something that you never wanted to begin with or something that hurts you so much that you don't want to live. Move forward. Push through. Nothing is certain. Not one thing in this life is certain. You can't always expect there to be a welcome mat everywhere you go. It takes effort, it takes dedication. That same effort and dedication that you used to hold on to those toxic, toxic situations. Use that to climb your ladder, your own personal ladder. To greatness of what is great to you, not to the world, to you. It's not about being seen. It's not about being the best. It's about being happy. And you're worth it. Bye, guys. I'll see you soon.